Right, so I guess the Vecas. Uh, don't know what time it is exactly. Um, I'm on the way out. Um, was up all night until about noon today. Going through all the media reports and all the misinformation that's being spread, trying to find a succinct way of countering all of that. But there's so much yeah. to say that it's just got pages and pages and pages. Uh, just for one article. All the things that are incorrectly reported, the things which have a bearing and have an impact on people's lives that you need to correct. Um, even one article, pages and pages of corrections, and you know, people that are ostensibly like on our side, but so much is being produced. Um, people just being. I don't want to say lazy, but I suppose people are being lazy because people don't understand that there's truth happening out here. And, uh, but yeah, so working on this till about noon today and, uh, fell asleep. I thought I could just push on through. Um, wanted to prepare something to be able to read out today just to say, okay, let's just penetrate this and start saying and speaking in a way that people really understand what's going on. All of this needs to be an organic process, but the thing is, on the way here, uh, yeah. I started panicking again, shaking, and I haven't been, I haven't, I've been staying sober for the last four months, with the occasional, you know, especially, like, you know, my release is when I play with the band, and but I've been staying sober because someone needs to because people need support. I've been providing that support, but it's just got too much. And uh, so yeah, about what three thirty in the afternoon. I didn't know what to do. I had to buy a bottle of whiskey just to be able to stand up straight without shaking. And yeah. Does this help to what let me get it out? to stabilize me, to keep me from crying, or is it going to make me cry more? I don't know. Because I'm not allowed to feel anything. Because I need to stay strong. Because the assault is fucking constant. I'm evicted from the ARC again for talking to Scott, the police officer. But you know what? I needed him to know what they've done to me. I needed him to know and to report back that I'm a fucking disaster. That I've been told that no one is going to be held accountable for what happened to me. No one is going to be held accountable for what happened to me, even though it was engineered, it was produced, it was deliberate. And there was actually a crime that took place. There was actually a crime that took place in common law. There's a crime that took place, but in acts and statutes law, it's completely legal what happened to me. and no one will be brought to justice for it. I'm gonna 
fucked for the rest of my life because of this. And no one. Is the system working exactly as it should be? There are no contradictions in what happened to me. This is exactly what is meant to happen. It has shown, it has revealed itself for what it is. It reveals itself every day. For the most part, people don't represent it. My solicitor said to me, that I'm an idealist, <laughs> that I think the system is democratic and fair, and that fundamentally it's not, and it's been that way forever. She's not a fairy godmother, she can't... Because <laughs> it's just like, how could that happen? Like, I've been assaulted, I've been physically. But I think even worse than what happened to me physically, even though I've got the scars, What's worse is like what's happened to me mentally. This is what happens to so many people eight, like each and every day. Each and every fucking day. They know that there's no justice. They know the system doesn't fucking work. Because they live it. And I live the fucking brutality of it. And how could it be that we can't do anything about this, you know? But there have been really good conversations today. Really good energy. And, you know, like these students, they're gonna change things. Like, you know, I'm too old. <laughs> But it was really good, they were saying like, you know, we want about, like, we want this, you know, what's the good that's been coming out of this. And like last, you know, the night before everything fucking went apeshit, before the terror took place, like, it was so beautiful. It was so, so beautiful what was happening, you know, like, taken out our donations out and because it's not about hoarding it's about giving and so much was given so much love and so much caring and you know it's about representing that and doing something and so we had what was 24 hours a day free food free clothing free warm um, bedding take like you know have it have it and people needed it people need it people were coming by like oh I'm starving I haven't you know shit loads of food take it everything was free it was all about an exchange between the people without government interference and it just shows what happens without government interference when people are left to their own devices how much good and how much beauty happens but this is specifically what they didn't want <laughs> they couldn't make money out of this they couldn't oppress people because of this and it's about people who are being oppressed saying you know what not only it's not a fight back it's a it is a fight back a fight back about there is another way it's about affirming life, valuing life, nurturing, loving, caring. But they don't want to let this happen. And you have to ask yourselves, why don't they want to let this happen? Why don't they want good to happen? Because they can't make any money out of it. Why do you think homelessness persists? It's not because of what people have done. People aren't homeless because of what they have done. They're homeless because of the system. It's not just about the people on the streets. There's so many people who are homeless who are not on the streets, 
so many people were homeless in hostels and B and B's. Why? Who's getting paid 285 pounds a week to put someone in an accommodation that is abusive to their mental and physical health? Why is public money being put into this? Why are people who are homeless being put into private bed and breakfasts? My friends, uh, months, have been in a B&B which costs the taxpayer 70 pounds a night. All they want is to be in a flat. It costs a fraction. It costs 70 pounds a week to put them in a flat. So, why is it? Why is it that they're being kept in a B&B where someone is siphoning off public money into private hands? They don't have cooking facilities. They don't have like a washing machine. They can't rebuild their lives from a fucking hotel. But people are making money out of the situation. People are making money out of the situation. There's an article that was passed to me by uh, someone who teaches at MMU. He's been a supporter here. And, uh, well, Ferguson and the criminalization of American life and about how the police, only 10% of the time is dealing with crime, violence, criminal activity. The rest of the 90% is about enforcing acts and statutes, policies that the government puts into place to make money out of controlling people. They put in crazy regulations to generate fines. They're targeting the poor. The illusion persists that everything is okay. People keep walking by. As I was screaming for help, screaming in terror for help from the ark. Exactly this is happening. Everyone just keeps walking as if nothing is happening. Seeing a woman screaming for help with a fucking army of people <laughs> threatening, nasty, people in helmets and high vis terrorizing vulnerable people screaming for help and everyone just says walks by as if this is normal as if this is okay as if these things are okay so what is it that they've built up in your minds to let you think that this is okay Look at this fucking ugliness. Move, move. Move. We say stop, you stop. We say move, you move. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Do not look. Do not see. And actually, we are all liberated. Why would you abide by a law that is being used against you? It does not have your best interests at heart. It thinks land and possession is more important than human life. It does not take into account human life. The law is here to dehumanize people, to be able to control them. There is no uniqueness within the law. It doesn't take into account the pain and suffering that is done to you as a person, to your body, that you live, you breathe, and things happen to you. 
it doesn't let you feel but these are the effects And how could this be? Do you think you're free?